This is the Blink program, one of the first examples for learning Arduino. It makes the onboard LED turn on for one second, then off for one second in an endless loop. At the top, we have a comment block. That's just information for humans. The microcontroller ignores it. Then we find the setup function. It runs only once when you power the board or press reset. Inside, the command pin mode LED built-in output tells the microcontroller that the LED pin will act as an output, meaning it will send voltage. Next is the loop function. This one runs forever. First, digital right high turns the LED on by sending voltage to that pin. Then, delay 1000 pauses for one second. After that, digital right low turns the LED off. Another delay keeps it off for one second before repeating the cycle. Behind the scenes, every Arduino board has two kinds of memory areas inside its microcontroller. The first are general purpose registers, small spaces where calculations happen. The second are special purpose registers. They control things like input and output pins, timers, and communication modules. When you use commands like digital write or pin mode, the Arduino core actually changes bits inside those special registers to control the hardware directly. So even though this program looks simple, it's really a great example of how software instructions translate into physical signals that turn an LED on and off.